Well, today we have so much access to information, more so than we really ever have had before, but a lot of us have probably seen someone post something that isn't true, and that becomes really difficult to identify that type of misinformation and also really tough to stop it. And Scripps reporter Chris Stewart spoke with an artist who is fighting misinformation in the Latino community. <laughs> Do you still get excited when you see people reacting to something that you create? Oh, yeah. If that ever gets old? That never, ever gets old. Well, let's, let's try new. This tiny office Lalo Alcaraz brought me to is where he sends a loud message. I just try to get people to think critically. Using barely any words. I think political cartoons are a really accessible, quick format, you know, that uh, delivers the truth with a punch. The thing about political cartoons, he told me, is that within seconds, you should know the point. Yours don't really beat around the bush, I will say, like, when you look at it. <laughs> Bluntness, that's, <laughs> that's what makes my cartoons different. The royal funeral coverage was drowning out everything for only for the last 10 days you know and then uh, suddenly Puerto Rico is going through their thing again uh, with uh, Hurricane Fiona then this popped in, in my head of the queen the 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 crown literally blocking the picture and that's I was like there's the simple elegant idea for many of you Lalo may need no introduction you know like, I, I, I clip them out because, uh, you know, newsprint, man, before it goes out of, uh, of existence. He's a Pulitzer Prize-nominated cartoonist whose daily comic strip, La Cucaracha, is the first nationally syndicated Latino political cartoon. The strip has, is about a group of friends. It's basically me and my friends when we were 25, like we got out of college. And it's just uh, us in living uh, uh, life and, uh, and living the politics of the day. In the pandemic, his work has carried a new meaning. It makes me feel good if, if someone tells me like, you know, that really helped me with, you know, to talk to my uncle about, you know, his, his you know, dislike of vaccines or, or you know, uh, it's always a win for me. These are the special cartoons Lalo created to fight pandemic misinformation as part of a project with Arizona State called COVID Latino. I inserted myself uh, uh, as the uh, Arizona Sun Devil uh, logo dude and uh, changed his pitchfork to a giant syringe. The Latino community's high reliance on social media for news is a reason why groups like Nielsen say they're at a higher risk for misinformation. It's not because we're not smart people. We're good people, we're smart. And as Lalo animated special for this story, nonprofit Avaz, which studies misinformation, found posts with misinformation in Spanish on Facebook are far less likely to be flagged compared to posts in English. I think we're all responsible for our communities. You know, we, we can't expect people to come in and fix things for us. Facebook has promised to do more to fact check Spanish posts on its platform. But as we head closer to the midterm elections, Lalo's message in both cartoon and voice is to be educated. The information's out there, you know, you gotta look at it, you know. Use the, use the coco that God gave you. That's what, uh, that's an old thing that my mom used to say. <laughs> In Los Angeles, I'm Chris Stewart reporting. Be sure to keep watching our special Hispanic Heritage Month coverage every weekday at 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. or at ktmv.com slash celebrando LV.